All right, guys, so I just want to make kind of a comprehensive guide on what I discovered earlier when I did a YouTube short and X post on the high ride height setting. There's a weird thing that I just found out today, and thankfully I wasn't the only one. I felt kind of dumb not realizing this, but it seems like quite a few of you had the same issue where when you move, when you move the truck up to high ride height, there's a little button that it doesn't look like a button. It looks like it's just text telling you that the truck is gonna stay in high ride height up to 25 miles per hour. But it isn't telling you that it's gonna do that. You have to press it to enable that. Otherwise, as soon as you drive, the truck will just go back down to medium. And I thought that was so weird because I put it in high and like, you know, I'm gonna jump a curb or dry, park in a steep ditch by my kid's school or whatever it is. And then it would drop back down to medium. I'm like, this is stupid. Surely I don't have to put it into off-road mode just to put it, you know, to use high. Like why else would high be here? But the proper way to use high ride height, now that I've discovered how it works and actually drive in high, is you need to push high and then you need to immediately push keep in high up to 25 miles per hour. It is a button. So you have to push that button there's another button underneath that came up in some comment questions about like, how do you clear the location? Because there is a location save, you know, saves your GPS location. And then anytime you go to that location, it will lift up again. But this can be problematic because for example, I parked at my kid's school off-road in this steep ditch and I put it in high and I go off and park over there. But then every time that I drive back by the school, just on the road, taking my kids to school every day, it was lifting up into high. And you have to like be really quick. Like you, you're driving by and then it's like raising ride height and you have to be like, you have to catch it to disable the location. And disabling the, lo you, you can't catch it. I literally, it took me like three or four times that I was trying to do this and it, it's just a split second. You really can't do it. But what I wanted to show you in this video is that you can clear all locations at once and you don't have to catch it. So what you do is you just go into the service menu right here and then you say remove saved locations. This will clear all saved locations right there. And you can basically start fresh. So what I would recommend is starting completely fresh and then anytime you wanna actually use high ride height, just decide if you care about the location feature or not. Like if you don't want it to save the location, then don't do it. But I think you always want to use the keep up to 25 uh, because you can't really drive the truck in high unless you click that. I think it should be defaulted on. So what you do, what I'm gonna be doing in 90% of the cases, as soon as I go from you know any of these lower ones up to high, I'm gonna be clicking this and then I'm gonna be clicking this. I mean, you gotta go tap, tap, and that's gonna make it where it's actually functional for you to drive around in high. Optionally, you can you know, enable or disable the GPS. So I hope that helps you guys. It was a confusion for me. So I just wanna get this video out there to answer some of the questions I saw in the comments. I thought they were good questions. And I think now we finally got it figured out. It's weird because it, like I said, it really doesn't look like a button at all. It looks like a notification, but as long as you clear your locations from the service menu and then think about how you want, if you want to do the location saving or not, every time you go up to high, just be thinking, I need to check these two other options or not check them. But, but you, you're really going to get the most value out of using your high ride height. And it's not going to be confusing to you now, hopefully. Uh, if you're actually thinking about those other two options, because if you just hit high, it's really not doing anything for you. It's it's basically like a high parking mode, which is super weird. Like if you just, you know, pull up somewhere and you're like, I want high, you push it, it's gonna go up to high and then it's gonna drop back down as soon as you start driving. You're just like, why? It's completely pointless. And again, unless you're just parking in high, and I like to park in high, the truck looks better like that. Um, so I'll probably use it in rare cases like that. But otherwise, it's like, yeah, I want it to stay in high until I hit 25 miles an hour. So I'm just gonna be doing that like 
almost all the time, if not all the time. So I hope this video helped you out. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do that. I've got more content coming soon. It's been a really busy, crazy year so far, but I'm trying to get back in the groove of things. Looking forward to a fun 2025. And also please go follow me over on X. I've been posting a lot of fun stuff over there. Love to connect with you guys um, and have a good time there. I post a lot of stuff on X that doesn't make it into like video content uh, and have, have lots of fun interacting with the, uh, you know, Tesla and investing community and stuff over there and uh, other things as well, like, you know, video games and whatever else. I'm uh, trying to expand my horizons in the X algorithm. It won't let me escape the Tesla space sometimes. Sometimes I only see Tesla posts, but <laughs> it's amazing how the uh, social media algorithms like really try to confine you. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you're enjoying the Tesla stock price soaring and I'm expecting it will probably blow up again on Tuesday when the market reopens. So hope so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.